A dog named Phoebe was shot twice in the head and buried up to her neck in a close place to where I call home. She was left to be dead in the area of Hillsborough County, but amazingly survived and was in recovery. In this unfortunate case, she had been a victim of malnourishment and also was a poor victim of animal cruelty. She was just an innocent dog in the hands of the wrong owners, and it almost cost her her life. According to MyFoxTampaBay.com, last updated January 10th, 2013, this is a sick person or persons who did this, said Pam Perry of Animal Services. They did this to a dog, they'll do it to another dog, a cat, a person, a child, or even a friend. Just imagine if there are people willing to do this to one dog, what other things they'd be capable of doing. Harmless, innocent, and guiltless animals are being abused every day for something that isn't even their fault. Researchers have shown perceived fairness for many types of crimes, including robbery, rape, and murder, and the theoretical causes of animal abuse. People should be punished for their crimes and pay the consequences. Animal abuse is unacceptable and it is unethical and it should not be tolerated. Today, we'll look at some reasons why animal abuse is cruel and unfair. First, we'll look at how many animals are abused annually. Second, we'll explore how many crimes are left unpunished. And lastly, we'll talk about why it is a crime. Let's begin by discussing how many animals are getting mistreated every day. And a news article by the Sunday Mail in Queensland, Australia, mentions that when the novelty of a cute puppy wears off, many are neglected or simply dumped with the RSPCA. It takes responsibility and time to care for many types of animals. And based on this article, it costs an estimated of $2,000 a year. Annually, about 50,000 dogs and cats spend time in a Queensland RSPCA. Could you imagine 50,000 children being dumped at the fire department? because their parents got tired of them or didn't want them anymore. Animal neglect happens every day all over the world without most of us even finding out about it. Now that we've talked about how often animal abuse occurs, let's move on and explore how often these crimes go left unpunished. In an article, Don't Be Cruel, Assessing Beliefs About Punishments for Crimes Against Animals, Dr. Valerie Sims, who specializes in psychology, mentions crimes against animals often are unpunished or underpunished. For an example, an MSPCA study showed that out of 80,000 cases, only 268 were prosecuted. Of these, 91 paid a fine, 28 were in prison, 19 completed community service, and 56 paid a restitution. How is it when people abuse each other, it's assault or battery, but when it happens to animals, it gets ignored? So now that you know how often these crimes go unpunished or underpunished, let's, let's explore why animal cruelty is a crime. Would you ever consider beating a friend, starving your child, or neglecting them for days? Well, I'm hoping most of you said no to that. But there are people out there that do it and do it to their animals. Hess writes in a New York periodical that Dr. Lafarge, who works as a staff member at ASPCA, sees animal abuse as a warm-up crime by an offender who may soon choose a human victim. She also explains that courts are taking a lot more seriously because it's now often viewed as a rehearsal crime that people experiment with violence against humans before animals, or animals before humans. Animal abuse is a crime and for some people just a practice for far worse. Today we have examined how common animal abuse is and that it occurs more often than people realize. Next we look at how often these crimes, these cases are overlooked every year and people not even getting proper punishment. And finally, we explored how animals are affected dramatically by this unethical crime. All of our lives we have been told, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. In all aspects, if we were talking about people, then this option would definitely apply. Why is this golden rule not applied when animals are being dealt with? Daily, monthly, and yearly, innocent animals are being abused in ways that we would never consider doing to our children or even our friends. People are being unpunished or not even punished at all or acknowledged at all for a crime that should be equivalent to battery, rape, or even murder. These are other dogs out there, just like Phoebe, being malnourished, mistreated, beaten, or even neglected. As for Phoebe, she was very fortunate someone found her and was able to survive. What about the other animals out there? There are so many animals in the arms of the wrong owners and nothing is being done about it. Animal cruelty is something that should not be tolerated. Phoebe was a dog that was lucky to be found, but other ones out there may not be as lucky as she was. Thank you. How do you stop it?